All right, we're rolling. We're rolling. Yo, it's hot out. It, it is, it's officially summer. The world is actually melting. And that's why in this video, we're going to be going over the summer streetwear trends of 2021. It's gonna be a lot of what we're feeling, maybe what we're not. I hope you enjoy. What up, Flame Gang? It's your boy, Baby Boy, back at it again with another one. I know what you're thinking, who's this guy? <laughs> Click <laughs> once if you're held hostage. This is my boy, Tuffy. He's probably one of my oldest friends. He is a producer, he's a musician, a storyteller, and um, an all-around entertaining guy. He's got a YouTube channel, so you can definitely go check it out. We're gonna leave that link in bio. Yeah, what's <laughs> going on, people? Um, Flame Gang? That's, yeah, that's, yeah. What, I'm, that's yeah. what I'm hearing. I'm hopping on the Flame Gang train, I'm um, into it. Yeah, I am Tuffy, I am a producer, musician, and um, I just love fashion, honestly. So yeah, let's get into it. So when we're talking about trends, I identify a trend as this is something that is new in some manner. It could be something that's okay. coming and going, or it could become a mainstay in fashion. But an example of something that's not a trend is a leather jacket. With a trend, these are something that is relatively new. It could stick around, it could go. Got it, got it. It's good to know like a classification of the difference between yeah. two. Try something out. Like trends are meant to be tried. Yeah. Don't avoid it because it's trendy. Try it out, see if it fits in your wardrobe. But I would recommend starting at like a, a low entry point. This is this is my sort of like advice. You know, bud yourself a hundred bucks that you make at your job. That's your budget for your top, your bottom, and like some socks or one accessory. Yeah, yeah. Like that's your budget for I like that. that. Um, really quick, we're both doing a fit check. I got this old hat I stole from my grandma in Nebraska actually. She owns an auto parts shop and I swiped this. No way, that's yeah. like legit. I didn't realize it was like from the source. It's absolutely sweated through, it's yellow. I don't know if they <laughs> can pick that up. I do have a camp collar shirt on, which is going to be on the trends list. Just a quick, uh, quick sneak peek. White tank top on under. Uh, I got some five inch shorts and then some Reebok beatniks on that look like potato shoes or little, uh, I don't even know, Sinooks. They look a lot like Sinooks. What are you rocking? Um, I got on a pretty simple setup. It's kind of like a cool, you're in a hotel, AC, comfortable vibe. So I got the long pants on, but I got um, also uh, a shirt and they're both from Zara. So I'm kind of rocking the um, sort of dark colored, I guess, um, casual to comfortable, yeah, wear today. For sure, cozy vibes all the way. Yep, cozy um, vibes. So t as we mentioned, today we're gonna be talking about streetwear trends. This is a lot of stuff I noticed and I know we went over them a little bit. We're gonna be able to comment on these, you know, say what we're copying, what we're feeling, what we're not. Just off the bat, summer's not my favorite season for style, honestly. It's, it's hard to work it because especially where we are, we get every season, yeah. right? So we have to weave in and out of the heat and the mm -hmm. cold. But you learn to be flexible, right? Yeah. Like you gotta, you gotta adapt to it. If um, you can't get fly in the summer, you can't get fly at all. Like you yeah. gotta, you gotta keep it moving. No, for sure. It's, it's definitely, um, it's all about loose. It's about casual. Yeah. It's about comfortable. I feel like almost less is more too, like in, yeah. in summer. But yeah, let's just jump right into the trends. So starting off, this is one that I, I think, I mean, you can't really have missed this one recently. Loafers have been huge. And, and I just put out a video on the Doc Martin Adrian loafers. I think one thing about the loafers that we're seeing a lot of, it's it's gotta be more of the chunky loafer. Like we're not really going for like, you know how Zara has those like slimmer slipper loafers? Yep. That I think we're moving out of that direction. We're going to more the chunky loafer. The chunky loafer is quintessential in your lineup for sure. Because if you look at the thin sole or the thin, I guess like, yeah, so and also the feel yeah it kind of it has a very professional vibe it has a very sleek vibe but people are kind of going more into I got a little bit of a chunky soul that's cool like I got a little bit of baggier pants that's cool like it all fits together with this sort of like more open look yeah bigger look I, I think that a lot of the a lot of these trends you're gonna hear us talk about are geared towards like a wider fit like that is definitely the vibe people are going wider pants wider tops whatever it might be so with it loafer the chunky Chunky one is definitely going to fit that vibe. There's this uh, podcast called Throwing Fits. They are huge on the loafer. Okay. Um, a lot of uh, fashion houses as well are gearing their loafers to this more chunky vibe. It's a slip on shoe, but it also holds its own right against a lot of sneakers. And a lot of people are actually opting for the loafer over the sneaker, which is interesting, you know, especially in the summer, but it's definitely something we're seeing. That's, that's something that's new to me. 
me. So like, you know, when you're telling me about the Chunky Loafer, I was kind of like, I was, I bought into it. I, I didn't quite see the trend, but like as an onlook, I can totally see like that coming up. Can collar shirts. So basically what it is, and I'm wearing one right now, literally all it means is that the, the collar is down. Like, yeah. Opposed to like, you're like Polo Ralph Lauren always makes this collars like up. Yeah. And almost like you can button it down right here. It's just chill. It's vibey. Yeah. We have uh, bowling shirts as an example as well. You can either go crazy with like a pattern or like make it really loud and vibrant, mm. or you can go more subdued like this. This is a Uniqlo JW Anderson collab shirt. Got it, got it. But yeah, what are your thoughts on the camp collar? It's something that like I couldn't classify. You know, I don't, I don't know the lingo of it, but it kind of has this sort of you know Friday, everybody's at work, sort of like let your shirt a yeah, little bit yeah, loose yeah, yeah. look to it. Oh, and remember, next Friday is Hawaiian shirt day. But you can color it, you can pattern it any way you want. And it follows that line of like California Nights party vibe. Yeah. But at the same time, like could be casual Fridays at your job, which is if you work a nine to five at this office, it yeah, kind of yeah. fits in that both worlds, you know? For sure. Yeah, it, it's just like, you just look more chill. Like 100%, <laughs> the, the collar isn't all in, your, all in your neck. It's one of those trends that's really easy to enter into. Like yeah. there's so many options out there. We mentioned Zara, you can go fast fashion, H&M Zara. You could try and class it up with something else. So guys, there's a ton of options out there. So for the shorts, guys, I, I also made a video about this. I did a whole video about the summer shorts I'm wearing. Two focuses I wanted to, to narrow in on were the higher inseam. And we're talking like five inch. I wouldn't go higher than five inch. Like that's, we might be seeing a little bit of balls dangling out if we're going higher than five. I think the five inch inseam is a great look if you want to go high shorts. But I'm also seeing the return of like cargo shorts. And I don't mean like, I don't mean like the, the, the early 2000s, like gross cargo shorts. I mean like tech cargo shorts. Like okay. it could be made of nylon. It could have a lot of pockets on them or utility. I think these are two shorts that I'm highlighting, but I don't know. What are you thinking about shorts? Obviously it's summer, you gotta rock them. Okay, so I'm thinking sports shorts, athletic shorts, kind of like that video you did with that one brand. Yeah, Eric Emanuel. Eric Emanuel. I think that sort of look where you're kind of on the border of high fashion, but you're still looking very familiar. My my opinion, I think, yeah, five inch, don't go, don't go below yeah. that. Keep the goods under the hood. Yeah. For real. I think you're kind of just saying like the mesh short. Like the mesh short the mesh is shorts totally looking good. Yeah. Um, yeah, five inch inseam. My feelings on cargo shorts, I like the idea of utility. Mm. And then I understand the sort of texture of cargo shorts coming back. However, I'm I'm gonna sort of say like, it's a skip for me. And I think it's good to like, I, I'm not gonna just be a, a yaysayer mm. in this matter. Like I think cargo shorts for me, it's a miss this summer, but give it some time and it'll definitely like come back. But that's just my two cents. Yeah. On it. I don't know if you've seen this one too much, Tuffy, but um, it's like high fashion Crocs. It, it's crazy because you know Crocs has been such a mainstay in like Pop kids culture. Wear. Yeah, like I, I don't. It, yeah. It's been around for so long. Honestly, I think it was the Yeezy Foam Runner that kind of elevated to other brands started taking notice. They're like, oh, people are actually willing to pay 500 bucks resale for it, a piece of foam. To me, that's insane. It kind of like I'm sort of new to the sort of look of mm. foam runners and Crocs as somebody who feels more comfortable wearing sneakers. I, I'm a sneaker guy. Mm. I'm comfortable wearing once in a while slip-ons outside, you know, at a bar or something like that. Once in a while, you know, if it's stylish or if it's summertime. For me, I would say tread lightly with these, no pun intended. I think that these are sort of, you have to commit to it and you have to have some kind of treat wear to back it up. It's not gonna mesh too well with um, the vintage, early 2000s look yeah, um, yeah, yeah. or the the 80s sort of vibe that's coming back the groovy vibe that's coming back yeah, yeah, with yeah. a lot of hipster and indie trends it's gonna be very locked into the streetwear look so if you have the wardrobe to back it up go for it but Dude, otherwise that, it's hard it's hard to make it work. that's that's honestly a great point i didn't even think of that this to pull off the foam runner or this kind of category you've got to have because it's such a new silhouette yeah i think your clothing needs to be like new streetwear like yeah it's got to be self-aware you got to have some kind of conversation starter although i think that with 
these crocs, they will definitely live on for a while. Yeah. As we know, crocs have been popular for a minute now. It's only gonna continue. And you know, with these bigger brands taking them on, I think that it will only evolve. People will accept them more and more and more. But for now, it's it's sort of, you have to be aware of, okay, it won't go with everything, but it's gonna look good with a lot of things for streetwear. This is the uh, Elix croc. Elix is like, it's pretty high fashion. Okay. This one retails for 200. That is a $200 piece of foam. I will give this recommendation. I mentioned this in a video before. Um, the Merrill Hydro, I think is a good entry point. This looks like the foam runner a little bit, but this, this is 55 bucks. You don't have to pay resell. And they have some cool colors and patterns. Yeah, no, I mean those, I mean, they look comfortable and they look. Be my guy styling it right there. I mean, they just look interesting enough. Mm -hmm. You know, here he's kind of doing the opposite of what I said. He's kind of going with the indie look meets croc. Mm -hmm. But honestly, what makes it work for me is the hat. I would say for this croc trend, go tonal. Do not go highlighter pink or something like that. Go with chill tones and you can kind of dress it down. I think the Merrill Croc is a great place to start. I may be copying a pair of these. I might have to try it. I, I, we'll see, we'll yeah. see, we'll see. I'm gonna hop on this trend. If you guys have been following along with Tyler Creator and his music, he's been really pushing the pastel look, especially light blue, pastel yellow, mm -hmm. and then anything to do with pastel pink or a pastel green. Mm -hmm. That color palette has been making a resurgence, I'd say, since maybe like 2016, 2018. Mm. People have been going with soft colors and people have been comfortable with it, and especially men. So Tyler the Creator is taking that, and he's flipping it, and he's turning it into sort of a high fashion, fuzzy, cozy look. I think it's definitely blowing up as far as streetwear looks go, um, especially I would say, you know, spring, sort of early fall or late summer look, yeah. for sure. So I would say late game summer recommendation. Absolutely. I, I think it might be tough to pull this off in the hotter months because it almost seems like the cardigan is a staple. It's heavy layers. Tyler is not afraid to wear pearls. It, it's almost pulling things from like country club wear. You get Absolutely. that vibe? Absolutely. It's like country club street. It kind of bridges the gap between utility and the pastel world, yeah. which is like, who has done that before? Dude, he's Nobody. He, he, yeah. I think one thing to note too is, I wouldn't say Tyler's like the king of the youth. I think like Travis Scott might still have that title, but his style is totally influencing like a, a, an entire like niche of, of streetwear kids. This is something that ASAP Rocky did in the early 2013s with all the black scale, like wearing a lot of high fashion stuff. Travis Scott did this with all the Cactus Jack stuff. Mm -hmm. Every kid playing Fortnite wanted to be Travis Scott. I think Tyler's doing his own thing and, and it's definitely making waves. So up next we got tank tops. Guys, this this isn't really a trend um, because tank tops have been around for so long. I just think it's worth noting that this is one of like the only ways you can layer in summer. Mm -hmm. So it's it's worth a shot. As you can see, I'm layering this camp collar shirt with a tank. It, it's just an easy way to layer your fits and that's not something you can do easily in the summer because it's hot. Like literally just buy a Hanes 10 pack if you want. Look out for white tanks in your wardrobe. I'm Adam, now. This this is probably like the lowest barrier to entry possible. You can find a Hanes tank top like 10 pack in literally any store. So maybe just buy a three pack. They do fit a little tight though. So like <laughs> be aware of that. But, and if you've been in the gym, like come on guys. Yeah. I realize that it's it's like you're feeding the people in a way. You know? yeah. It's so interesting, man. You're like, listen, you gotta you gotta check yeah. out this trend. It's like yeah. true. It's like I, I didn't realize how much you're like you're really trying to push like this is this is gonna hit, this isn't gonna hit kind of thing. Yeah, it, it's like uh, I, I want you guys to take my recommendations with a grain of salt. I think whatever you do in fashion, try to do it yourself. What I'm trying to do is give you an idea of a trend and then you could freak it however you want to. Yeah. And and that's what fashion is. Like I didn't own this shirt three weeks ago. I'm trying a trend. It's a camp collar shirt. Who knows if it's going to be in my wardrobe in a year or two, but yeah, we're highlighting them. This next trend, you mentioned it already. We're talking about Y2K. That's the year 2000 for you guys that don't know. Y in Y2K, we saw a lot of a lot of rappers really took over what was cool. And we're talking about Soldier Boy. We're talking about Lil Wayne, like Weezy F Baby back in the day, rocking a lot of bait. Maybe it's really like baggy jeans, just going with a bit of a baggier look. There's a, there's a lot to reference from with Y2K. Like we could see stuff coming back. I mean, I don't know if this is gonna happen, but I feel like what could be on the horizon, Ed Hardy, maybe, like stuff like that, bro. If Ed Hardy makes a nod to the audience, mm -hmm. if they do good marketing, 
marketing. Yeah, I can see it. But it all comes down to marketing for these brands. They have to sort of hit the audience on TikTok, Instagram. They have to hit the youth. And then maybe if they if they you know nod to them, yeah, I think I could see Ed Hardy coming back in a big way. Ed Hardy, that was a free consultation. Um, if you need any more help, we're gonna have to send an invoice. No, but a, a great place to start with Y2K, Depop, eBay, anywhere you buy used clothing, guys, you can literally go type in Y2K and you'll find a lot of options for stuff you can try. Or hit the thrift. It was 90s for a while. As we keep, you know, as years keep going by, 2000s is gonna be the next hottest thing. Yeah, we might have to hit the thrift later, man. Next up, we're talking about utility. And this isn't, I, I don't really have a specific clothing item to give you guys, but we're talking about things that have purpose. Whether it's certain specific pockets, it's zippers, it's hooks on clothing. You know, utility does give, um, it gives clothing like a cooler look, like in general. Yeah, I, but I think it's coming back in, in a way that whereas before, we weren't buying into the whole utility look. Mm. I would say until maybe in the past year or two. Then it became a little bit more relatable and a little bit more trendy, but it's pretty recent that's coming back, I would say. Yeah. Um, right now, people are open to it. If you see something at the store online that shows utility, pockets, zippers, extra stuff that seems like more of like a look, look into it, cop it. I mean, it, it's just, it's right now it's hitting for yeah. sure. Utility is basically the, the, the parent of techwear, of workwear, of like army surplus. These are all things that might fit under utility. It, it's just being able to expand your wardrobe to things you know, you may not be using, but they have its own purpose in itself. And it, it makes things look a little bit bulkier, gives that kind of wide fit that we were talking about. So definitely a lot of options out there for utility stuff. So yeah, with the with the wide fit pants, um, I, I think it, it could be jeans. And we're talking about denim. It could be trousers. You kind of have a wide yep. fit dress pant on right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. The men's silhouette has changed so much in fashion since like five, six years ago. What it used to be was, I'm gonna get a big top that makes me look muscular and goes down past my crotch and then super skinny jeans. I think we're totally flipped on its head where we wanna see a boxy t-shirt that makes my, my, my torso look smaller and my legs look longer. And that was something that was typically reserved for like women's fashion. And now it's super hot in menswear with a baggier fit. And this goes with every type of footwear we've talked about because it gives a chunkier vibe. It is something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. <laughs> if I have any sort of input on this entire Summer Trends video, I would say this is my flag that I'm planting the ground. I think that wide fit trousers, relaxed fit trousers, pants, denim, anything, any fabric, they will hit and they will continue to be a trend into the next couple years. I mean, it just goes into the idea of what's comfortable and what can I flow in between work and play at the same time. Skinny jeans were cool, but come on guys, let's leave that in the dust. Yeah. If that comes back, great, you know? For now though, let's ride on the relaxed fit, wide fit trend. It really comes down to what you feel comfortable with body type wise. And that's a huge thing. All of my life, I've had, you know, a sort of skinny physique. And so skinny jeans work for me. But here's the thing, I'm a little bit self-conscious about my legs. So like, in a way, I'm happy that Relax Fit came back because I like the silhouette more, and that might be you as well. And if you feel sort of uncomfortable with the whole skinny jeans trend that happened in the past 10 years or so, well, you're in luck. Cause like, like me, you can hop on this trend, pick up a pair from H&M, from Zara, from sort of the easy street uh, wear fashion places. Try them out. I'm telling you, they're comfy. The fabric's nice, um, and you can dress them up or dress them down. In the same vein for the big boys. I mean, this is a no-brainer. You're not showing off the chunky legs anymore. This is really like, it's optimal for everyone. Really touching over it, I kind of talked about this already, boxy fit shirts. Basically, it is something that is the same width as it is length. So oh, we're not okay. looking at a longer torso anymore. Yep. We're looking at a torso that is disproportionate to the legs. Got it. It makes your waist look a little bit thinner, makes your legs look longer, and this is, as we mentioned in the last trend, this is kind of the look that a lot of, you know, high fashion houses are doing this. So if you want to copy what designers are doing, like, like just get a boxier fit shirt. Yeah, I like the overall look of it. It gets my approval. Cool. Gorp Core is G-O-R-P, good old raisins and peanuts. Basically, it's a term for trail mix used by hikers. 
This is the hiking aesthetic, and this kind of blends with utility as well. Okay. It's basically a lot of weatherproof stuff, and, and I think one of the highlights for summer is the, the shorts. Like in, in hiking, it's a lot of nylon, a really lot of strong materials that are moisture wicking. Wearing a pair of nylon shorts like the Patagonia baggies, LL Bean makes a pair. Yeah. I think that's probably the easiest way to implement this into your wardrobe. And then also with the trail shoes, these are brands like Solomon, Hoka. It's a chunky shoe and it fits right into the white trouser. I mean, my honest two cents about it, I think trail shoes, they haven't been a trend for a minute for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> so it, what to me what it is is this. I see sort of this um, new wave of, we're kind of moving away from Astro World into this sort of Tyler the Creator look where it's simple colors, but mixing up um, actual textures. I think that's sort of where things are going towards. I think in a way for me, trail shoes is part of that complexity of design from like having um, strings on a shoe mm. kind of thing. I think that totally is, it's cool. Personally, it's a skip. Part of why it's popular is because it's it's not Nike. It, it's not like what we've been seeing so much. The youth is so anti, like they don't want to do anything that was cool before. So this is a great way to branch out. I, I've been feeling these That's lately. cool. No, I, yeah. as far as the mentality, 100. 100. <laughs> The last trend I wanted to talk about was actually normcore. And normcore is, it, it's essentially, it's like looking normal. It, it's essentially minimalism. And just like wearing, it could just be like blue jeans and a white tee. And that's literally the fit. And you just accessorize around it. it we saw a lot of it in the 90s. 90s like airport vibes or 90s like whatever the casual wear was. Yeah. Super subdued, just like normal looking clothing. And, and a lot of people are using silhouettes to make things look high fashion, even though it's just like normal everyday clothes. Here's my advice. You want to get into normcore? Go to your nearby movie store, pick up a movie from the 90s that has Bill Murray in it. Yeah. And dude. just literally cop what he's wearing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, will, you will be the talk of the night. Simple color palettes, yeah. you know, flat blue, flat red. You just kind of use those simple color palettes. You use a different kind of combination and you'll be good with that. Yeah, so whenever you find the movie store, let me know. <laughs> I look like I'm like 20 years yeah. older than yeah, yeah. baby boy here. No, I, I think I get your point though. I, and I think another one is Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld, his whole aesthetic is is like going for. He wears like a buttoned in t-shirt into like perfectly washed blue jeans. It's as simple as that. I mean, the people aren't ready for that. That We're talking 2022 here. Like the, yeah. the people aren't ready for like Jerry Seinfeld on, on a Sunday afternoon. People aren't ready for that. I don't know. Yeah. But we're getting there with the whole, you know, Tyler the Creator looks, all the pastels, all the cardigan stuff. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, that's totally on the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is pretty much all we have for you guys today. As I mentioned, I'm Baby Boy Flame. Feel free to like if you enjoyed this video. I hope you did. Subscribe if you're into fashion, streetwear, sneakers, anything like that. This has been my boy Tuffy. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys want to check out my content, at Tuffy Campbell on everywhere. And I also have a YouTube channel. Links are going to be down below, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Stay fresh out there. All right. Peace.